Hi, I'm Andrew Jenkinson and I'm looking at the Coachman VIP 462. Now the true the thing is with the 462 is this is the Vogue version. So it's basically a deal special by Spinny Caravans and Motones. So it comes with extras of such as silver sides, it comes also with the uh, solar panel roof and GRP sides. And of course the well specified VIP additional specification. So this really is truly a very well specified Tourer. Let's have a quick look outside and then we'll come inside and do a quick review. Well here we have the Coachman, the IP Vogue 462 and the exterior, the 2019 on Coachman generally on the VIPs was tidied up and um, it's basically got their laser exterior profile colours on it. So we've got the silver sides the nice bold graphics and of course there's those twin uh, gas bottle um, lockers of course it comes with ATC and of course it comes with the AKS stabiliser now the VIP looks pretty damn good anyway but actually in the dealer special Vogue version it looks there's lots better. of skills and exterior uh, locker here, there's also a guest barbecue point, of course you've got the alloy wheels with your Alco wheel receiver and GRP sides which give it an extra tough finish and basically heavy duty corner studies and it really looks a part, it really looks a very very smart tourer as in this Vogue version it really looks good from the back panel one piece of course again redesigned and it looks really very smart typical coachman well put together well finished can't find anything to fault and of course all the services are on this far off side of the van including cassette loo and your hookup etc. So it looks very smart on the outside. Let's have a quick look on Hi, the inside. I'm Andrew Jenkinson and I'm looking at the Coachman VIP 462. Now the true the thing is with the 462 is this is the Vogue version. So it's basically a deal special by Spinny Caravans and Motones. So it comes with extras of such as silver sides, it comes also with the uh, solar panel roof and GRP sides. And of course the well specified VIP additional specification. So this really is truly a very well specified Tourer. Let's have a quick look outside and then we'll come inside and do a quick review. We're inside the 462 and straight away this caravan looks really really good. There's a massive big sunroof in at the front which Coach Monroe is very good for plus the normal high key large roof vent as well. There's great interior lighting with LED, the CD radio etc and of course quality furnishings wherever you look and of course alarm. This really is a very well specified Tourer and as you expect it's very comfortable, there's plenty of plug sockets um, as like I said before it's LED lighting, smart LED spot lamps up there, CD radio there and great storage and of course a great kitchen which you will not be disappointed with it's got great storage it's also got the Dometic latest oven in with dual fuel hob and it's also got this nice sink finished in like black enamel it looks very classy there's plenty of worktop surface as I say more roof locker storage it really is well put together. This is typical coachman of course. Storage of course is very good and I like this little cupboard as you come in through the main door entrance. And that has a very handy mirror above which then takes you up across to where the control panel is and the uh, Aldi central heating control panel. Now the washrooms is something that coachman have always excelled at. This company have been going since 1987 and I remember seeing the very first ones uh, at prototypes, actually at the whole factory in September 1986. 
and culture have come a long 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 way since then there's good storage in the washroom of course you've got that chrome central uh, heating um, radiator there got me in the mirror there unfortunately but we've got there the a decent sized sink storage below and also we have just at the top here we've got some more storage nicely concealed with these mirrors mirrored doors again LED lighting is the norm plenty of lighting here at night time and during the day of course There's a Dometic um, cassette loop fitted and also the wardrobe is very decently sized it's ideal for two it's also gets uh, it's got a light in there and also there's two extra storage drawers beneath so they've actually made every sort of inch of this coachman's uh, wardrobe work of course storage. there's a 462 it's got a great as i said it's got this great end washroom and as you would expect it also has a fantastic shower arrangement again it's a one seal unit you should expect um, it's roomy there's plenty of there's an LED light there so there's plenty of light one thing that I am a little bit uh, disappointed with there's actually no roof vent or vent actually in the um, ceiling there you're going to have to rely on the roof vent up here and also the window so if you're in there it could get quite steamy but having said that it's very very well and laid down there's more storage here too with this small wardrobe that would be a, a his and hers wardrobe. I think the, the wife would probably take more in the way of garments than what I do. So that would be mine, I would think. But it's all very well put together, there's no doubt about it. Very well So, done. that brief tour around the 462. I think this is a cracking tourer. There's no doubt about it. It feels well made, it's well put together. It's typical coachman, really. And I think also, as well, the interior design is more modern than what Coach Mirror wants um, were once turning out they're always a little bit traditional but now they've gone a little bit more mod a little bit more contemporary at 25,000 plus it represents good value it's well specified you go touring all year round with this it's a great tourer full stop for two people if you've just retired and want to treat yourself and you want to go touring UK or further afield then this is a likely good tourer to own it's a little bit heavier sure it is which I'll come up with the weights after this video but quality doesn't come light and again it's a car that's been designed by a team that have been behind this company for many many years who actually go caravan themselves the only thing I was a little bit disappointed was there's actually no access flaps and also on the underneath the seats here which I think for this price range they definitely should be on and also they still use a slatted base here so it's a slatted bed I'd like to see the metal framework come out like the lunar caravans do which is very good so I'm a little bit surprised about that but on the whole this is a very good tour to look at and if you're in this price range and watch room to birth put this on your list and take a look get down to a local spinny dealership there's one in Staffordshire there's one in Flintshire and there's also this one where I'm at at Cheshire this is Anne Jenkinson signing off for now please feel free to subscribe and also I'm always ready to hear your comments good or bad on my videos and I hope you're enjoying them and uh, I hope that uh, some of you will learn a bit about caravans as well as I go through my uh, videos. I'll say goodbye and see you again.